Hi, these comments are for HM. I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all the lessons at otconlinetoflcourse.com. You completed, it looks like, an integrated speaking practice test, and I'm getting ready to listen to it right now. So I'm going to kind of figure out where you are right now. Where is your score? Okay, let's listen to the whole thing. Here we go. According to the reading, nonverbal language includes both facial expressions and body movement. Both of these could reveal a human's true feeling regardless of his body language. The professor gives an example about his childhood. Even though he used to lie to his mom about the troubles he did, his mom was able to notice that and spanked him. He was amazed about the way his mom knows about his lies. One day on Thanksgiving, they were sitting together and having dinner. His mom revealed the way she, how she knows about his kids' lies. She said, when you lie, you don't look at my eyes directly and rubs your hand as it gets sweaty. And that's how this example demonstrates nonverbal language. Okay, so my... My first impression on this one is uh, 22 to 23 points. I think you had some problems when you moved into the listening passage. You know, you need to make sure you keep that framed as a summary, right? Which means you, you need to explain that it's coming from the professor. The professor's giving a story to illustrate the body language, right? And how it works. Okay, uh, I think maybe some minor problems with language use and then also some problems with delivery. So I'm going to say 22 to 23 points on this practice test. Let's listen to it one more time. According to the reading, nonverbal language includes both facial expressions and body movement. Both I would say body movements. Facial expressions, plural, and body movements, plural. So keep both of those nouns plural. Both of these could reveal a human's true feeling regardless of... These two of these can... Re these two types of nonverbal communication can reveal humans' true feelings, make feelings plural. ...his body language. The professor gives an example about his childhood. Even though Why does the professor give this example of his childhood? The professor gives an example of his childhood to help explain how body language works in practical situations. Oh, he used to lie to his mom about the troubles he did. He used to write to his mom. You can put stress on write, but I wouldn't... His mom... You're kind of making the tone go up a little too much. Right, the tone needs to, to rise, uh, it needs to increase slightly at the end of each thought, thought group. But with the word right, he used to write to his mom. I don't see that as being the end of that thought group. So I think your tone is not quite right there. Was able to notice that and spanked him. He was amazed about the way his mom knows about his lies. One day on Thanksgiving, they were sitting together and having dinner. His mom revealed the way she... No, his mom revealed the way she could understand he was lying. How she knows about his... No, I think that's how she knew. Let's go back to how you're framing that. He was amazed about... So that's past tense. He was amazed... The way his mom knows about... About the way his mom knew, blah, blah, blah. So be careful about verb tense shifts. About his lies. One day on Thanksgiving, they were sitting together and having dinner. His mom revealed the way she, how she knows about his kids. No, his mom revealed how she knew that her child was lying. So again, you're struggling with your verb tenses a little bit. Li lies. She said, when you lie, you don't look at my eyes directly and rubs your hand as it gets sweaty. And that's how this example demonstrates nonverbal language. Okay, so 
I'm going to adjust it slightly, even a little bit lower. I'm going to say 21 to 22 points on this. So when you got into the language use area, you had noticeable problems trying to re-explain somebody else's ideas using consistent past tense verbs. You weren't able to do that. This is called reported speech. So you seem to have trouble with reported speech, reporting what someone else is saying. Right? Go to Google. I'll give you some things you can study to help you with this. Uh, using noun clauses and reported speech. And that will give you some a good web page that you can study. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm going to say 21 to 22 points on this. If, you, if we go back to the rubrics under the language use area, you have response may exhibit some imprecise or inaccurate use of vocabulary and or grammar. Exactly, and be somewhat limited in the range of structures used. So you seem to have limitations with your grammar when you're trying to re-explain someone else's point of view from their perspective. That seems to be a limitation you're having right now. All right, thank you for completing this practice test.